So today is probably gonna be a little bit of a challenge. We just recently had this tropical storm or whatever move through. It ended up being just kind of a heavy 60-ish hours of pretty strong wind, like up, into, up to about 30 knots steadily, which definitely wouldn't be considered any kind of heavy storm. So we, f I figured that it would be, you know, everything would be the same. The issue with these tropical storms, hurricanes, or whatever, it really turns everything from a fishing standpoint on its head. What usually happens is all the bait disappears, all the fish move to different areas, and pretty much everything that we knew in terms of like where fish are, or how to catch the fish, pretty much gets wiped and we start anew after each storm. However, after this storm, the first thing that I did was to obviously try to catch bait. There was pogies on the beach, which was really weird considering what weather we went through. And also there was plenty of bait to be jigged up, which is also really weird. So it's like, okay, cool. This is the same. So I guess this weather wasn't severe enough to change anything drastically. No, I was really wrong. There was three charter guys that were trolling the day after the storm passed. And out of those three guys, I was the only one that caught a fish and it wasn't even a kingfish. It was a big giant Spanish mackerel. So all the fishing has just gotten turned on set. Yesterday I went out and caught a couple barracuda. There was a couple guys that caught a few kingfish, not many, not enough to like spend a whole day doing it. Today I have an eight hour trip and I'm going back to my roots. I'm just bottom fishing all day long. And from what the party boat did yesterday, it seems like that's kind of the same of how it was. I'm not gonna waste any time. If there's pokies on the beach, go catch them. If not, I might jig up a couple live baits. I really don't wanna waste any time on it because today I'm just gonna target beeliners and jacks, I think. But yeah, it's gonna be a challenge, I think, probably. But looking forward to it. I always enjoy days bottom fishing. I don't know, we're on this adventure together. Hopefully they bite, we shall see. We did it, guys. We caught the world record beeliner. I hooked it through the bottom of his mouth. That is impressive. He was legitimately trying to eat it. That is incredible. That's definitely the smallest one. I've caught them that size on sabikis, not on a double rig, though. Let's throw them back. Good old beeliner fry. That's actually impressive. Well, we're kind of rallying fish right now. We got ringtails and beeliners, a handful of each. A couple kudas on the flat line. Decent little start. Guys in shore are not catching any kings right now, so I'm glad I didn't waste any time doing that. Did catch a sailfish this morning though, that was pretty cool. Uh, but just grinding away, getting with it. Seems like this stuff is pretty normal-ish compared to what it was before, so that's a good sign. Water's pretty clean. Not really any sign of it being dirty on the bottom. So, looking up, things are looking good. like the boat. The right tip down. Oh god, it is king, real. He's getting them, <laughs> trying to eat them. What is it? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Nice king. Ah, oh, dang it. Stupid cuda. Ah. Oh, oh yeah, he got him. Oh, he got him. <laughs> hey, but still nice king. Get a lot of meat off him. That's annoying, but we got the fish. At least brought up more than a head. Yes. Double. I'll take a double. Oh, yeah. Another double. Oh, now I got one and. Woo! Asking you shall receive. Yeah. Hey, got a tray. Another double. Another double. I think you got a good one. You might have a big ringtail, too, or a double. Triple. Woo! Triple, 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 triple. How about that, girl? These things are biting. That one's a keeper. White bone porgy. Keep him. Oh, he's close. I think that's a keeper right there. Back to back keepers. Look, he's got a Nemo fin. Look, he's got a little Nemo fin. Nemo. Two in a row. Woohoo! There you go. More doubles. Second, like the right kind. You ready? That's big king. Keep a good bend in that rod. Can you keep it up for a minute, guys? This is a nice kingfish, I believe. Yeah, you watch yeah, heads up. Step over here. Step this way. Step this way. Step this way. All the way to the rail. All the way to the rail. Keep on reeling. Ooh. Little king, but it's a king. Come here, Bubba. Ooh, little snake. Stop reeling. Stop reeling. 
<laughs> yeah, don't lift them out of the water. <laughs> Makes it really hard to gap when they're flying. <laughs> but we got them. Hey, that's what a whole kingfish looks like, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess the other one's technically whole. He's just... A little messed up. Yeah. I say we're leaving, turn the GoPro off, and we get bit on the flat line. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Get it, Steven. Oh, you woke up. He's like, oh gosh, there's hooks in my mouth. Walking real. Yeah, I think so too. So he thinks you pissed him off. I believe you're correct. All right, give me that. We're gonna have to do the anchor line pass. Nice king, nice king. Come on. Let him run, let him run, let him run. Woo, you all right? Man, smoker. Wow. No, I didn't. I missed him falling. Dang it. Hold on, hold on. Be really careful with it. Got a lot of drag on this fish right now. There he is. Nice king. Heads up. I might elbow you. Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Keep it tight, keep it tight. There you go, keep her on. Okay, keep the rod tip down. Keep the rod tip down, keep the rod tip down. If it touches that boat when it runs, it's gone. It's a really light line. There you go, perfect. Perfect. It's a heck of a fight right here, huh? Pretty big king. That's what we wanted. It is what we wanted. Yeah, didn't you say this morning that you wanted to catch king? Big fish works. This is a big fish. There you go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Man, this is a this is a pretty good king right here. Dang! Wow. You could win the tournament. All right. Don't do it. Oh, he's about to be dead. We're about to get him. Oh, he knows how to do it. Lower, 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 lower. You were the fish. Coming up. Big lift, big lift, big lift, big lift. Ah, you son of a gun. Lift, 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 lift. Nice fish. Got him. Got him. Woo! Here you go, Steven. Nice king. He's he's big, he's not a giant, but man, that thing's a bruiser. That thing was a fighter right there. All right, well, that definitely made this stop worth it. A couple kings. Didn't crush it on the stringer fish. Added to it a little bit, but we definitely, uh, this definitely helps the cause. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put in a request for a bigger fish. Well, we picked up a little something extra on the pole there. Somebody's old anchor line. Thank God there wasn't an anchor attached to it, or we would have lost ours probably. But uh, we're gonna take this off and dispose of it properly. Hey, remember when I said I'm glad I didn't have an anchor? That's oh. wrong. <laughs> Luckily, this is, oh my goodness, it's a fortress. These are super expensive. Obviously the expensive shackle doesn't work anymore. Heck yeah, I'm keeping this one, Chad. Sorry about it, it's going to me. Yeah, these fortress anchors are actually really expensive. Do I like plows and claws better? Yeah, but. Very cool. Nice. Free anchor, free chain. Woo! There you go. Better looking doubles. Are they keepers? No, but they're getting bigger. Our throwback to keeper ratio on this spot has greatly exceeded the other spot. This one's probably good. Another double. You got a good one and a way too small one. Man, it's a good rally of beeliners, guys. Look at my... That's keeper. He did get bit. He did, in fact, get bit. Yep. Oh, I mean, that's a oh, he's making a mess. Go away, Kuda. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Yeah. I'm saying keeper. I'm saying keeper as well. Oh, yeah. Oh. Woo! Ow. That one might be good. You said you got a good one too there, Steve? This one's good. That one's definitely good. That one's bigger than that one. Rallying, rallying the berms. Oh, yeah. Trigger! Trigger! That's some good eating. Get him, Bubba. 
Looks like it's filling up fast on this spot. Be another good one. Another double. This one might make it. Trigger, trigger! Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Sketchy. Oh, Kuda almost got it. That's a good one, too. Woo! Get out of here, Kuda. That might be a trigger. Keep on reeling. It's a trigger, it's a trigger, it's a trigger. Nope, it's a red snapper. What you got, what you got? Oh, God. Oh, tripled. Not what we want. Well, we had to work our butts off for these fish. Didn't light the world on fire, but we did catch fish. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fish. And good ones, too. I mean, it's pretty good eats right there. We caught a ton of fish today a ton we did not catch a lot of keepers but we were very 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 busy throughout the entire day our ratio for keeper to throwback beeliners was probably realistically 10 to 1 had 14 keepers and i feel like we caught 300 beeliners today we caught so many fish we worked really hard for those 14 beeliners granted we did catch a couple trigger fish um nine ringtails and a white bone porgy and uh what else did we caught? Those three kings helped the cause a lot. But all in all, pretty good day. I'm pretty satisfied with how the day turned out. I have another eight hour tomorrow. I'm going to go further offshore and uh, kind of do the opposite of what my game plan was today. I was originally going to go, or I was originally going to start in kind of shallower, which I ended up fishing all day today and work my way offshore. However, there were some storms that were developing, kind of like this one. So I decided that it was probably not a good idea to move further offshore if they, uh, you know, popped up like they did right now. Alrighty, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. If you want to come fishing with me, go to teambuckrogers.com. Do a 10 or a 12 hour. Those are my favorites. Today was an eight hour. You can do a little bit of bottom fishing, trolling, whatnot. I like my 10s and 12s. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Joe VT Fishing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.